This is the future. Future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this is what we are doing today. Ew, disgusting, very bad. This keyboard hasn't been washed or cleaned since I bought it. And this is starting to really piss me off. And the only reason why it hasn't been cleaned or anything properly is because I am too scared to take the keycaps off. I'm scared I'm gonna break this keyboard. But unfortunately today I'm at a point where I don't give a shit. It has to happen. I have to take this out, I have to clean it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do it and how to prevent the keys from mixing up. And let's just hope and pray I can get the keys back properly and that it doesn't break. At the same time I wanna some clean my mouse and the mouse pad. So what I have here is a water and soap solution, uh, we use sunlight liquid and I've got a rag or cloth and one of those sponges with the scotch bright on the other side. So obviously you're not going to dip your keyboard in here, you're not going to dip your mouse or whatever in here, you don't want it to get soaking wet then you can throw the shit in the dustbin. So we're going to take everything apart and we're going to wash it properly, I'll show you. Okay so the first thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to take the sponge and I'm going to wash this and not go into the electronics. Prevent going into the electronics. Okay. This is just to get all the hard dirt off the key off the surface. After this we'll take the sponge side, lap the key, dry it off, and we're done with this one. Secondly, we're going to do the mouse. Same as the mouse pad, we're going to just wash it gently outside with very little water. In other words, we're going to rinse it out, dab it off, and just go onto the surface. You got no destination, I'll take you anywhere. All the doors we've opened and all the books we've closed. Words just come together, story. Okay, and here we come with, with the big job, the one that you've actually been waiting for. Now, there's three ways to do a keyboard and not get confused with the buttons or the keycaps. Number one, take a photo and see where your layout is, especially if it's the very first time you're doing this. Now, in my situation, taking a photo is not going to help since all the keys are dark. You cannot see the keys with your naked eye. That's why it's got RGB and that's why it lights up so that you can see the actual keys. I do not see the keys. They're very faint and I'm colorblind so it's a problem for me. Number two, pack the keys exactly in the way that you take them out so that you can put them back exactly in the same place. That's the easiest and the most common sense one. But having little kids and sometimes you have a situation where somebody messes around with the keys you're gonna be screwed a little bit. That brings you down to option number three. If you don't know where the keys go, simply plug in the, lap, uh, the keyboard. Hopefully you do not have a password on your computer that you have to actually type something in. Open up Notepad and start typing and see what letter pops up and just put the corresponding key back onto that letter. So those are the three ways you can do it. Now inside my toolkit, I got this nice little tool. I was always wondering what the hell this was for. And I have a suspicion that this is actually for removing keycaps. And I've never used it before. It will be very interesting. Ah! It actually came off quite easily. Very, very easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the keycaps 
I'm going to wash each and every key cap and then just take a brush and a wet cloth and wipe the top of the keyboard so we can get all this dirt and nonsense out and then we're going to pack the keys back okay let's do that There we go. See how dirty this is. Sisa, get all this dust and particles in here that you cannot wipe out even with a brush. This at least gives you a chance to clean everything, wipe it nice and clean. And as you guys saw, um, the keys actually put off quite bloody easily with your fingers. It wasn't even necessary for this. It was actually just necessary to make a gap for my fingers to get in. Some of them were a little bit tighter and some of them actually just fell off. I think if you shaked it hard enough it would have come off anyway. So I'm going to get a brush quickly, brush in here and clean like we said we're gonna clean. I wish Coca-Cola would sponsor my videos as I'm always drinking Coca-Cola. Doesn't it sound like a slogan? Always Coca-Cola. Yeah, well anyway, that could have made a lot of money since that's the only thing I actually drink. Yeah, but a company as big as them don't need advertising, do they? At least it looks much better. I got all the loose dust and fluff out. Most of the dust is different out. There's some small spaces here. Uh, let me just see if I can get a old toothbrush. And just maybe clean in there. Let me just go see what I have. Alright, no stress. I've got a brand new toothbrush that I took out just now. I'm just gonna use this old one of mine. To get all this. See, there's still some stuff coming out. Oh wow, okay. Much better. Okay, I'm not going to push my light and try and do any more in case I might damage something or something. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wash the keycaps, dry them off and put them back immediately after washing them. I don't want to put them back there, I want them back onto the board as I clean them. And we'll summer start with the escape and go our way through this. Okay. Let's do that. Clipping the in is quite easy. You just press hot enough and you can feel it goes in. And it's really looking very nice. I must say, <laughs> it almost looks brand new. Well, cleaning your stuff now and then really makes a difference. You don't always have to buy new stuff. Just clean the old stuff. Okay guys, so now the keyboard is complete, everything is in, so let's go and test it. Okay guys, as you can see everything is lighting up and the mouse and keyboard is working. Okay guys, let's first test the keyboard. Ah, it's working, it's looking nice and clean. There's my windows. Now we can uh, open up a document and just type a few stuff and make sure everything is working. 
Okay, text document, let's say A B C D E H G H I Q O E T T X Y Z. Let's see what's it right? A B C D F U Okay, all that checks out. Enter checks out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Okay, all the keys are working. Backspace is working. Awesome. Everything is up so and cool. running. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all. There is now a Facebook page. So feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za Where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be stay taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.